Hello Virgo, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know about this reading or about scheduling your personal readings. All of that will be in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, Virgo, we're taking a look at love for you. Your overall energy of your love situation or your love life is the Nine of Pentacles. Your energy showing up as the Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. So two nines, wherever you're at, if you've been feeling stuck here, just know that things are about to get wrapped up. You're not going to be here for very long, for much longer. You got the temperance. Yeah, I did feel that. I feel like you guys, the nines to me do re represent something getting wrapped up, but it's a very challenging energy, okay? Your challenge is the temperance, which can be a card of uh, change. It can be a card of patience. Um, it's definitely a card of the divine as well. You have three nines here, actually. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. Wow. All right, so let's keep going. In your immediate future, you have the, nine, the Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. So I feel like you guys have been really hurting over a situation here. Some of you guys are... I feel like there's something that you guys, somebody that you guys have been dealing with. And I feel like I'm getting a couple different messages. So just take what's for you, for you, and leave what's not for somebody else. For some of you guys, I feel like there's somebody here where it's just something is not moving forward or somebody doesn't want to move forward or they don't want, they have not been wanting to commit. It could be very inconsistent or on and off. And I feel like it's, you're getting to a point where you just can't deal with this anymore. Um, I feel like there's something about this person that you want something with and I feel like that's why you've been trying so much to be patient here but I feel like you just can't keep doing it um you're like you know what I just can't keep doing this and I know wands is ex it's an exhausted energy you know you just keep going and going but it's it's getting to a breaking point with that nine of swords energy so it's like you know what maybe as much as I don't want to do this maybe I'd be better off if I'm just on my own with this nine of pentacles energy for others of you, I feel like if there's not a specific person right now that you're dealing with in that energy, I feel like it's just getting very hard because you guys feel like you have been on your own for a while. And I feel like you're just wanting love. You're wanting to find somebody. And I feel like it's starting to get very hard because it feels like it's not happening for you. It's like it's just getting you very, very upset. And you've been trying your best to be patient and wait for something to come in or wait to find your person. And... It's just been very hard. So tell me about this Nine of Pentacles energy. You got the Fool card in the reverse and the Moon card in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like you want to understand. For those of you where you're dealing with a person, it's like you want to understand why somebody doesn't want to move forward. Like why somebody isn't opening up. Why somebody doesn't want to progress. Tell me about this Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. We got the Hangman in the reverse. Yeah, a lot of you guys are moving to a space of in the devil. You're seeing this as something that's unhealthy and toxic for you. And you are you're have a lot of fears about releasing it because you have feel a very strong connection and you want this. But at the same time, you know that you cannot continue to deal with um, this energy here. It's too hard on you. Some of you guys here are just trying your best to, for those of you where you're single and you're not dealing with a person and you're just getting very upset and hurt because you're wanting to find love and you feel like you're not meeting anybody here, you know, this This can definitely talk about, you know, you're trying your best to release your fears and just have faith that it's going to happen for you, but it's just becoming harder and harder to push those negative thoughts away. You have the temperance card here. With the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Yeah, you feel like nothing is happening, nothing has changed, you feel very stuck. Um, and I feel like that message is for whichever storyline you're on here, whichever, whichever, whichever way this is resonating for you. Um, I feel like that um, message holds true. You, you, you can't. You're getting very. It's very challenging for you to remain patient, for you to remain having faith that this is going to turn around, or something is going to come in, or something is going to happen, something is going to move forward. In the immediate future, you have the Knight of Cups and the Three of Swords. So let's take a look at that. You got the Nine of Swords again. And the strength card. I feel like you're going to be telling somebody. For those of you where there's a person that you are dealing with, 
okay? I feel like you're going to be telling somebody how you feel. You're finding the courage to express yourself to somebody here. Um, and you're willing. You're like, you know what? I know that by telling the, the telling this person, hey, this is how I feel. And if something doesn't move forward, you know, I'm not going to be able to do this. I feel like you're a little bit afraid of that. But you're finding the courage to do it because you just can't keep doing this. Now, for those of you where there is no person. And it's not resonating that way. I do feel like there's somebody that you had an ending with going to be moving back towards you. Okay. You got this. And I feel like they're finding the courage to do that. I feel like this is somebody that you were in a commitment with. Some of you guys, it was a marriage. Uh, but for others of you, I just feel like it was just a commitment. And somebody's finding the courage to move back towards you here. They want to apologize for the hurt that they've caused you at the very least here. You do have the Four of Wands here and the King of Cups. So somebody does still have a lot of love for you. I feel like this message holds true either way. You know, I think you might be surprised at how this conversation goes. I think you're going to really open up and break down and express yourself to somebody. And I feel, for those of you where you're dealing with somebody here, and I feel like you are going to um, be surprised in a good way about how this conversation goes. Um, I feel like this person does have feelings for you, and I feel like they are going to open up to you here. Now, for those of you where it's another, it's a past person coming back toward you, I still, I feel like you're going to be... Um, I think you're going to break down and just express to this person how you feel. They're going to break down and express how they feel about you. And I feel like you're going to be very surprised at the outcome of this conversation. But that is what I have for you, Virgo. Now, if this resonates, let me know. And if it does not, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, Patreon, or the tarot course, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and supporting me and I will see you soon.